hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on this black smoky eye so to start off I'm doing my eyes first and I'm going in with a black eyeliner you can use whatever black eyeliner I'm using one from NYX the jumbo pencil jumbo jumbo and then going in with the cat um, Kat Von D eye palette and I'm taking that peachy shade and using that as my transition color and then going in back into the palette and picking up the black shade and setting the liner in place Then I'm going back into the palette and I'm going to reach for that orangey brownish shade and apply that right into the crease. So you have that like brick shade and I'm going to apply it to the crease and then go back and forth and blend it out and go back and forth with the black as well to make sure I don't lose the color and make sure everything is well blended. And yeah, that's basically what I'm doing, going back and forth and making sure there's no harsh lines. And then going in with probably my favorite eyelashes right now, it's from Allure by Nicole Guerrero, the 143 lashes. Now I'm going ahead and applying some face oil and applying the EX1 Invisware foundation. And I'm using this little toothbrush brush. And eh, it's whatever I prefer I still prefer a beauty blender then I'm going in with the Kat Von D locket concealer and the Tarte shape tape concealer i'm just mixing both of them and applying it to the high points of my face so chin nose around the mouth area because that gets a little dark and under the eyes and the reason why i use the kat von d one as well is because it is a shade lighter so it really brightens up the eye and it's also very i mean the shape tape is very full coverage but I think the shape tape makes me oilier. So I use the Kat Von D to, I guess, combat the oil. And then I um, picked up this new um, setting powder. It's, I, you know what? I don't know if I'm a fan yet. It's the Cover FX Perfect Something Something Setting Powder. Um, I'll have it in the description box. But I don't know. I'm still not a fan. I've been addicted to the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. And I don't know if this compares to it. But it's still good just I don't know if it's better and then going in with the Maybelline matte and poreless foundation powder and applying it to the rest of my face well basically all my face <laughs> Then I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and I'm picking up that ashy shade and applying it to the cheekbones, the jawline, all the usual places. And then going in with MAC Give Me Sun and bronzing up um, the outer parts of my face. So the cheeks, jawlines, forehead, 
the three. You want to make a three on your face, basically. And then I'm going in with the Tarte Blush in Captivating and applying it to the apples of my cheek. Then going back into the Kat Von D eye palette and basically doing the exact same thing I did on um, my eyelids to my lower lash line. So you just want to repeat the same steps that you did before. And um, I decided not to add highlighter today because I wanted my face to be very matte since the eyes are really matte. And then I go and add powder underneath my eyes just to make sure there's no fallout from the black shadow. And then to clean up the contour. And then I'm going in with the Laura Mercier highlighter in Gilded Honey and applying that to the inner corners of my eye. I also added a white um, eyeshadow on my brow bones, but you guys didn't see that. Then I'm going in with the Kylie lip liner in Dolce K. And then going in with MAC Lipstick in Honey Love. So that's basically it, basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more.